Hey howdy hey partners, today we're going to be modding Woody's hat, let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, back again. I got a request to do this video and so I will do it because if I don't do it, people will probably ask me, how did you do this Today I Grew Up? Well, this is how I did it. So in the movie, if you see Woody's hat, he has vinyl stitching threaded in his hat. When you look close up, it looks like it's made out of a leather cord material. Vinyl, you know, leather, those are very similar materials and they look corded. So it has kind of like a circular thing going on. So it's not a flat thread. So it was really hard for me to find something that looked like the movie. I went to my local craft store and found this real leather craft lace. It is a round lace, one millimeter is the thickness, and there's three yards. I don't obviously need three yards, but that's the minimum that it came in. And so I got the one millimeter. This was uh, the last one, it says Made in India. This is the company, Silver Creek Leather Co. So if you wanna know how to get this, maybe go to realleather.com. That's where it looks like the website is. And yeah, it's pretty nice thread. It's very close to the movie color from looking at the movie stills and it's round and it's, I don't know, it just looks really, I think it's gonna look really good on this hat. So here on the hat, as you see it knotted right there, we're gonna recreate that same knot, but with our brand new cord. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully slide in this scissor right here. I'm going to make a snip here like this. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to take out this one. As you see, the new thread here is circular and nice brown color. This old cotton thread is a little bit, um, it's just not the right color, but you can see the differences between what I'm gonna put for the new cord and the old one that I took out. So this is what the hat looks like with all the threads out. It looks pretty good and ready to thread again. I'm gonna clean it up just a tad. It's a little dusty. I'll be right back. In the words of Big L, it's just like new. So I got all the dust out, which is pretty good. So I started my knot here, and this is where I started threading it. And I'm gonna kind of show you how I've been doing this pattern. Because in the movie, it seems like the threads are moving to the right, to the right, to the right, um, after looking at the movie stills. And that's the way Thinkway Toys actually had it too, so they actually paid attention to those movie details. So basically you have to go from above the hat on top and then we're going to work our way to down. So as you see, as we do that, we're creating this pattern that is going over. So you got to keep doing that. If you want to get the movie accurate pattern, you need to go over the hat and back down and not the other way around because if you do it the opposite way uh, the problem with that is you're going to get the wrong pattern and definitely you want to get the right movie accurate pattern so the way it's sloping it looks like it's going to the right to the right to the right so you have to go over and then under over and then under so i'm going to repeat that all the way around remember when you're doing this you need to go over the hat thread it from the top of the hat and then down. That's how you're gonna get your movie accurate pattern. As you see here, I got to the end and I unknotted this first knot that I did. What we wanna do here is make sure that the pattern still looks good. So we're gonna drag this here so it gives it the illusion that it's tied and then we actually are gonna tie it back here. I made sure that it looked good on the top, so let's go to the bottom. As you can see, I did a double knot here, so it's really secure. I'm gonna cut the excess strings now, and it's gonna look perfect. If once you're done, the top of the hat looks like this pattern-wise, you've done a great job. This definitely feels more deluxe and film accurate, and I really like the look of it, and it's definitely gonna look more like Woody in the film had it, like this accurate stitching, which is really nice. Let's do a quick comparison. So here was a creative way to do it. I stacked the hats. So this is the Cloud Pattern Thinkway Toys regular cotton fabric that it comes with from the factory. Here in the middle is my JC Alva vinyl threaded woody hat, movie accurate hat. And here's the new Brazilian 
custom cloud pattern woody that we're working on and as you can see we made sure that the pattern is like the movie something that Thinkway Toys actually paid attention to the threading could have been the other way but this is movie accurate because the pattern is all going the same way just like the movie was if you pay attention to Woody's hat this is the pattern that it's going it's going from like an illusion of like you know left to right threading out this way hopefully you can spot that from the movie I definitely can and I don't know for some reason the Brazil hat is darker than the Cloud USA hat and my white logo hat was darker like Brazil in fact it's a little darker than the white logo it's very it's hard to tell on camera but this is darkest so having a little darker thread than what we did for the movie accurate JC Elva I think suits this hat it definitely to me makes sense and it really does look like I don't know it just looks movie accurate to me in many ways I don't know which hat do you like better Thinkway Toys has done different things with the shading here of course with the cloud the white logo and the Brazil up here I really like the darker threading I think to me it's actually my favorite one so far the middle one's pretty good too but I don't know let me know in the comment section below which hat did you like best which threading do you like best and it's just interesting to see these hats come together little by little so there you have it my upgraded stitched hat more film accurate I really am happy with how it came out obviously it only cost three or four dollars to get it at the craft store so it wasn't that expensive and cutting the knot here was good I double knotted it so it's not coming out I'm really happy about that so yeah this is just really exciting the next step for my Brazil Woody mod is only going to be the upgrading of the buttons and a movie accurate head other than that we're good to go as always, partners, thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing to this channel. We're on our way to 100,000 subs this year, so please help me out by hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so alerted for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, you're, now you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.